passionately Portsmouth. Express FM. Express FM. Express FM. 93.7. Express FM. I'm not quite sure how many artists Ken Meekin and his team have told me about. It must be a lot. We've got Ken and the rest of the team at Country Music Social Media to thank for our Sunday session today. EJ's music has featured ever since Ken got in touch with me about him. He's also the first artist from Northern Ireland to do a session for us. So I'm going to hand you over to EJ O'Reilly. Thanks a lot, Russell. This is The Express Man on... Express FM. On the loneliest trail a horseman goes along Head high, heels down low Steadfast in the saddle, slow hands on the reins Across the western plains He is gone from cold springs towards the sun springs past the express man is the lifeblood of the West Sierra Nevada's fraught with danger and despair Split by a man and nature how the spirit it drives a breeze and with God and the devil on his heels he is gone from cold springs towards the sand springs pass the express man is the lifeblood of the And the heavens cut by a fine bay mare As it rides through the cold night air. Natives along the trail A wolf way in the distance calling His pack a Colt 45 to protect him Ah, St. Joseph, Missouri's gone That long way back He is gone from Cold Springs Towards the Sun Springs Pass The express man is the lifeblood of the world Remarkable song there by E.J. O'Reilly, the express man taken from his brand new record, The Frontier Free. Whoa, that song immediately appealed to me because Express is in the name, but it's not about a radio station. It's about the Pony Express, which law, which it was amazing what they did because they it was established in 1860. Am I right in saying that's it, yeah. So it was long before radio, actually, even before Telegram had uh, spanned across the US, this was the, the fastest way of communication, was these guys uh, on the Pony Express going from Missouri 
all the way to California in about 10 days. That normally took about three weeks, so... 1,600 miles? That's amazing. How the heck did they do that? How the horses managed to travel that far? Well, I've got no idea. Yeah, it's, um, it's remarkable. I don't, think, I don't think they'd be able to do it now. Although some people do the, the similar trail and uh, take their time to work their way across as well. So it's, uh, it's in folklore now and um, people like reliving that. <laughs> like me. <laughs> yes, the whole album, am I right in saying it's a narrative album of America in the 19th century? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's in and around that time, mid-1800s. Um, you've got the Pony Express then, you've got the Civil War, a few other things going on as well. It's definitely what a lot of people, if you had the image of spaghetti westerns and things like that, it would have been it in its prime almost around that time. There were many songs on there which would seem right at home in a Sergio Leone spaghetti western, including Showdown. Oh, yeah. I can imagine Henry Fonda and Charles Bronson gunfighting to that. Yeah, that was um, that was a lot of fun. Sort of just had the idea. Actually, it was on watching the, the good, the bad and the ugly, that final shootout. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just picked up a guitar and... I uh, sort of had the idea for that build up, that suspense, and then, yeah, the gunshot at the end of the track as well. So, oh, blimey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how about Once Upon a Time in the West? I'd say that's my favourite spaghetti western film. Henry Fonda's in it, Charles Bronson, Claudia Cardinale. Did that film also inspire the making of your record, The Frontier Free? I think it's, it's sort of gelled in. There's, there's like. A lot of things from when I've been, I was younger and yeah, it definitely would be films and stories, like even like my grandparents gave me these old leatherback books um, that I used to look through. So it's, it's something that's always sort of been there, you know. <laughs> and you mentioned just be well, whilst we were playing Don McLean's Mountains of Morn, that when you were younger, your dad used to sing that to you. He did. And yeah. he still gets up and sings it now. He does, yeah. He does a really nice version no of it. Way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're, uh, we all feel very lucky when we hear him sing it. Um, yeah, great song, honestly. And uh, didn't travel from the morns today. So I'm actually <laughs> in, in, based in London now. But uh, I'm going back in a couple of weeks and looking forward to going walking around them again. So Nice. Yeah. And you were mentioning off mic that you work in TV. You work in operations for ITV. Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. I'm a transmission controller whenever I'm not donning the hat on the guitar. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I do. So it's, um, it's, it's a good job. It's good fun. And um, yeah, it allows me a bit of time to, to get out playing music and things like that as well with a few days off. So that's good. <laughs> So as you work for ITV and Minder gets played a lot on ITV4, let me just give a little snippet of this. Would you say Minder is your favourite TV show? Oh, do you know what? It's, it's, it is really good, but maybe, you know, after you've seen so many of them so many times... Um, yeah, it's up there. It's up there, you know. It's a classic, you know. How about Quantum Leap? It is really good. Yeah, that's, um, again, that's something from, like, childhood, you know. <laughs> it's just, like, etched in the brain, you know. <laughs> I recently so, watched all of the episodes of Quantum Leap for the very first time, and I made sure it ended properly, because unlike some TV shows, like How I Met Your Mother, it ended beautifully. And every single episode in Quantum Leap were amazing. It was. It like yeah. It was such a yeah. It was such a strange thing. It was like a a twilight zone of sorts, really. The like the place you would arrive and oh, such good stories in it as well. I know. You know, <laughs> which I'm but, a fan of. But with the frontier free, where can we get copies of your record? Well, you can stream it you can, if you have Spotify or Amazon, any of those services. But if you want to purchase it from me directly, you can go to Bandcamp. That's like an independent music store that you can go to. So it's ejoreilly.com.
www.bandcamp.com you can get it there you can get my other music and some info and gigs and things like that as well excellent well would you like to do another song for us from your latest record in a couple of moments yeah brilliant yeah let's do it excellent back with ej o'reilly's session in just a bit hey we're back in the session again this uh, next tune is god's gone and it's from the album the frontier three The dawn of the new world When the west was wild and overrun Far through the turmoil and struggle A tale like no other under the sun Here comes the legend of God's gun Them Clayton boys are running wild They'd robbed a bank and rode all night At dawn at Juno City No mercy, no pity was shown They hit Jenny's saloon And soon a card fight broke out A knife was thrown down to life Jesse ran and fled the scene The local priest then intervened But was shot down And he hit the ground Young Johnny Bean, the altar boy Sought revenge and he knew how Headed south to find Lewis He knew he could get him on his side Told Lewis how his brother died Now Lewis in a fit of rage you know, bound with Johnny's aid Knew a trick for the Claytons Mistaken, they think they'd seen a ghost And so in robes, the Clayton boys Were scared at this sight The priest had come to take their lives One by one were taken down The dust on red, no mercy shown Were taken down, down below But rumors about some unknown son Spread through Juno's walks and turns It was Clayton and Jenny They'd spent one night together long ago Poor Johnny, he had never known So to the desert Clayton fled with Lewis chase until their grave By the ruins of a church tar A shot fired struck Clayton to the dust And almost lost, a name was heard Said Johnny, my son, I've done much and I've done wrong Just remember my son No outlaw can outrun God's gone Another smashing offering from E.J. O'Reilly. That is God's Gun, which you can find on his brand new record, The Frontier Free. Beautiful song. And am I right in saying it was inspired by the 1976 Lee Van Cleef Western of the same name? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good film. Yeah, really, really great story, you know. Did you watch it whilst you were writing the lyrics? So, scene by scene they were inspiring the sound of God's, of God's gun. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it was, it was definitely just a matter of watching the film through a few times, taking a few notes, really the strong points of the story. I guess it's like when you have a film or you have like a short story which is written down, like the, an, another story from the album, An Occurrence at Alcreek Bridge, you have to adapt it to, to become a song. You know, it's not like... Everything can go in there. It's, uh, it's that translation, really, that you want to capture, or at least I'm trying to do so. You've got to pick and choose the, the best bits. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. 
We mentioned country music social media earlier, and Ken Meakin, talk about this for dedication, he is on holiday at the moment in Benidorm, and he's tuned in right now. That's right, yeah, I was talking to him just before this, and uh, <laughs> he actually sent me a photo of his nice swimming pool. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at it right it, now. And, um, yeah, we're, here we are here and. <laughs> A lovely Portsmouth, but very windy, yeah. <laughs> and this is your first time in Portsmouth, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Um, it uh, looks like a good a good place to hang about or whatever, you know. I might, uh, if I've got a bit of time before my train, I'm going to take a walk about, maybe, uh, maybe go a bit of busking or something, maybe. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Palmerston Road and Commercial Road are fantastic places to go busking. Oh, brilliant. I'll check it out, yeah. You could put down your hat that you're wearing today and people could throw their pennies in. Not pennies, but pound coins. <laughs> yes, pound coins, yeah. <laughs> I'm liking your hat there, EJ. Thanks, yeah. Where did you get it from? You know, I would really, I would love to tell you, but I get asked it so much <laughs> and it's almost like, you know, I took, a, I took a long time to search for the right hat and I sort of feel like if I give it away, you know, that will oh. be it. So I'm not. I'm not gonna on this occasion. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. But um, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bought my cowboy hat after hunting around high and low. I went to, I went to Covent Garden. I went to uh, Oxford, mm. and I ended up buying it in Southsea. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> Which is the south part of the city here in Portsmouth. And I travelled all around and there was my cowboy hat. Just waiting for you there. <laughs> I've seen your hat. It, it's, a, it's a good hat. It's not yeah. bad, is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, very fitting. Yeah. Well, would you like to do another song for us after the one o'clock news? Yeah, that would be brilliant, yeah. Excellent. So to come in the second hour of Russell Hill's Country Music Show here on Express FM, we'll also be hearing the very latest from Emily Faye. Portsmouth Breakfast with Bisco Solicitors. Local, experienced, reliable. Weekday mornings from 6 a.m. Hey, come on to listen. Something good on the radio. Sunday lunchtime. Russell Hill's Country Music Show. Y'all listen. Are you ready? Let's roll with another live number from EJ O'Reilly. This is a Lead Belly cover. Shine, I would 
shiver the whole night Isn't that a wowzer's take on the lead belly tune, Where Did You Sleep Last Night, which starts the second hour of Russell Hill's country music show here on Express FM. And EJ, did you grow up listening to Lead Belly? You know, it's something that I sort of arrived across. I mean, a lot of people know the Nirvana cover of that. So I, similarly, I have I went that way of discovery for it. Um the MTV Unplugged session that Nirvana did. Oh, yeah. Listening to that and then tracing back to it. There's so many songs that Lead Belly um, wrote and is accredited to, like, folk singers at the time. They didn't always write the songs, but that um, that credit needs to be given to them for bringing it to the forefront and doing certain versions of it. So, yeah, that's how I, yeah, I sort of traced it back like that. When you were growing up in Northern Ireland, who were you listening to, apart from Don McLean, of course? Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, we we always just had the radio on and um, I guess it would be Don McLean, James Taylor, oh. Neil Young, people like that, you know. Um, the the country side of things is, is something more recent that I've really just got into and enjoying, say, in the last 10 years or so. But when I was younger, it would have been, yeah, all those sort of classic folk singers, you know. Woody Guthrie, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, and, and, and Dylan as well, yeah. Gigs, want to give these a mention because you're quite the regular at pinups in London. Oh, I forgot to mention, how long have you been over here in, in London? Oh, I'd say it's probably close to about four years now, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, working in Belfast before and um the job went there so had to come to london just that was the way of it so here i am so so happy that i am because um get to play gigs get to come down here it's definitely an easier commute than uh, all the way from ireland to get here exactly <laughs> you'd have to get a flyby flight flight to southampton and then travel by train from here i mean that would be utter dedication but thanks for coming down the train today considering that it's a little bit stormy out there today. Not quite like last week, but thanks for coming down all the way from London. Oh, no. So happy to be here. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> and your gigs, you played at Pinups in London in November and a couple of couple of days ago, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I had a gig there on Wednesday and it was a lot of fun. It's a great venue, that. It sounds so good. The, the sound guys, all everyone there is uh, very friendly and things like that there. It's uh, it's always nice to play there. You were saying that it used to be called the Islington. That's right, yeah. And a lot of people haven't noticed the name change and they're going to a place not far away which also has Islington in its name. Yeah, so when I was talking to them on <laughs> Wednesday, they said that oh dear. part of the reason the name change was that pinups uh, or before the Islington and just down the street closer to the station you have the Islington House. So they were finding people were accidentally um, diverting off into the Islington house when they intended to go to the Islington. So it makes sense. I don't think there's going to be any confusion anymore. So. <laughs> and upcoming gigs for yourself. The 18th of March, you're playing at Gigi's in yeah, London. That's right, yeah, in uh, Hoxton Square. It's good. I would actually be, if anyone... Uh, is uh, involved with gigging down here, I can do that. I mean, I am uh, I might do that busking, as they say, but if there's any proper gigs or anything like that, I'd be up for that. <laughs> well, busking is a great way to gig around town here in Portsmouth. I remember a couple of years ago, I was on my way down Palmerston Road to buy some milk, and outside one of the shops down there, there were these chaps, and one of them was playing the banjo, and they were doing dueling banjos. Oh, wow. And after they had finished their set and I got my milk, I said, chaps, do you want to come in for a session? 
Oh, of course, that's brilliant. And Dicey Riley will be back in session later on this year. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, it's worth checking out. And did they play that when they came on? They did, they yeah. did. And they've done covers of Beatles songs, great bluegrass tunes they've included in their set down the years. Crikey, what a what a great couple of sessions from them. And a great person to get in touch with here in Portsmouth about doing some paid gigs is Ken Brown from Square Roots Promotions. They are hosting a gig at the Portsmouth Guild Hall, which is round the corner from Express FM. It holds just over 2,000 people, and they've sold the place out. Oh, wow. I know. That's going to be a good night. I know. The Dead South are playing there on the 26th, which is this Wednesday. Nice. Yeah. That's going to be quality, that. I know. And they played at the Pyramids in Southsea the other year, and they sold that out, too. You could say the Dead South's very popular. <laughs> it's in South, yeah. <laughs> but how can we get in touch with yourself about booking you for a gig there, EJ? Uh, Facebook's probably the best thing to get me on. Um, just send me a message and, yeah, take it from there. <laughs> Excellent. And you were mentioning off mic that you've been posting out on your Instagram page about your session today. Yes. And you're going to be putting it up on your Instagram page as well, the, the Listen Again link for your for today. Yep. Everyone will be able to uh, listen to this again uh, through Instagram and uh, yeah, the various social media. So that's yeah, right. Check it out. Um, I've definitely enjoyed it. So hopefully, the listeners can again too. <laughs> and don't forget, you can get copies of EJ's latest record, The Frontier Free, on his Bandcamp page, which is ejoreilly.bandcamp.com. So EJ, what do you reckon to hear in a tune from your brand new record? I think that'd be I think that'd be great. I'm up for that. Excellent. What would you like me to play? Oh, let's think now. Um I think Great Western Road would be good. This is pretty apt because it's the final tune on your record and this is a nice way to round off your session. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Excellent. This is Great Western Road. <laughs> 